What's going on guys, Pat on the shop, and tonight we're looking at the DNA performance heads. These are the heads that we're going to be using on our 355 Help Me Build It series. Let me show you where I'm at with them, and let's see the difference in flow over the stuff that I've done to it. Let's check it out. So these are the DNA performance heads, better known as uh, maybe assault racing heads. Some guys call them eBay aluminum heads. Uh, but the well-known brand name is the AFR Enforcers. They're basically the same heads uh, as the AFR Enforcers, except the AFR heads have the 8 millimeter stems, which I found makes very little increase uh, change and increase in flow. It's more of just to have a lighter valve train. Um, but with these, I found... You know, for the, what they're advertised at as being 195, sometimes they're advertised as 200cc heads. Uh, considering how large the intake runner is, they're not really that impressive for flow, um, but they are a cheap casting. Um, unfortunately, since I posted the original video about these, comparing them to the AFR Enforcers, the, the price of these heads, these castings have gone up quite a bit. Um, just like a lot of stuff has, but that's, you know, that's the way it is right now. Um, but with a little bit of work, these can actually be made into a decent head. And I'm not really talking about porting because uh, I decided that I wasn't going to actually port these heads, but just do some cleanup and upgrades to them that you guys can do at home to replicate what we're doing here. And that's kind of the whole purpose of this 355 that we're doing is I want to do something where you guys can replicate. It's hard to really show porting in a video. I can show you before and after video or uh, being before and after um, flow numbers, but I can't really show you the techniques on how to port them uh, and you can actually screw up a set of heads pretty easily if you don't know what you're doing, especially when you start getting into the short side radius and stuff. Um, so I'm going to show you what I did on, on these heads and stuff that you can replicate at home um, other than the valve job. Uh, for most of you guys don't have access to it, but if you're doing a set of heads, you got to get a proper valve job on them anyway, and we'll talk about it in a second. So let's go over the first thing I've done, did to these heads, and uh, what the flow difference is. So let's take a look. So we're going to start off with this is kind of like step one, which is basically just clean up. Uh, first thing I started uh, with is is you'll notice that these heads are almost screaming for larger valves to start as, as, as far as like the valve seat versus um, the bowl throat area here. Uh, so you will actually what you will want to do and what I did here is take a carbide and actually blend the seat in here uh, to the actual head uh, to the aluminum. The, the insert is, is actually going to be smaller than the aluminum head so you're going to blend that in all the way around and taper that seat into where it kind of blends in with the aluminum and take away that ridge because you'll notice that it'll have like a step from where it goes to the aluminum and then it'll step up to the seat. So just go ahead and clean that up with a carbide and be really careful you don't nick your seat too much so take your time and be really gentle with that. And then uh, other than that, all we're really going to do is clean up. So you'll notice with these um, cheaper castings that they can be kind of slaggy and the casting inside here will have a lot of rough spots. So basically all I did was just knock those rough, rough spots down, uh, take um, a 60 grit uh, sandpaper roll and go in and just clean everything up. Uh, didn't reshape anything. The vein and this is all the same. I just went in and basically we're just doing cleanup right now and we're going to do the same thing with the with the runner. So the throat and the bowl and all this is nice and cleaned up. All the slag is gone and I'll show you what the runner was going to look like. We're kind of covered in uh, blue dye here so um, as you can see and I'll talk about this in a second we're actually going a little bigger with the inlet opening for just for gasket matching uh, but the this is what the inlet look like just cleaned up uh, you'll find it's again lots of slag and lots of um, just excess uh, chunks of aluminum that don't need to be in there so let's take a look at what this little bit of cleanup and uh, blending with the seat has to do with flow
All right, so stage two of this uh, flow increase on these heads is the valve job. If you're expecting on a cheap set of heads like this, heads like this, it's just to throw a set of valves in, lap them in and go, you're gonna find that the seats aren't usually cut to the optimal, optimal position. That's why getting a proper valve job goes a long way. So I cut these as a four angle valve job, a 15 degree top cut. Uh, a 45 degree seat, a 35 degree uh, cut above that, and a 60 degree throat cut. So uh, there's a four angle valve job, and then we did a back cut on the valves, but these heads were flowed right from the beginning with the back cut on the valve, so nothing changed there. So let's take a look at what our cleanup plus our valve job looks like. So the last part of this is, um, it had more to do with actually finding a gasket, an intake gasket that works uh, with this head because what you'll find is that the intake gasket on these, is it's kind of a weird size intake port, like it's kind of like um, oddly shaped, like a Vortec kind of style where uh, like this, like a 1255 where it, it kind of angles up but yet it doesn't really line up with a 1255. And then because we're using the air gap intake on uh, with this with this combination, um, the, the Vortec gasket doesn't really line up at all with that style intake. Um, so what I was looking at maybe doing is maybe doing a 1205 gasket. I put that up against, it didn't line up very well. So I end up going with a 12, 1206. So what I'll do is I'll match, once I get these heads on, I'll match the intake, uh, the air gap intake to a 1206 gasket. And I'm gonna finish up doing these, but you can see that that's kind of your best bet um, is going to a 1206 gasket. Uh, but just, be warned if you're gonna do that. Um, so the push rod pinch point here, so when you, you see where it bumps out here, this is where the push rod comes down through the head. There's, you're gonna notice it bumps out here. There's not a lot of material there. So I didn't really open it up, you can see. I just blended it in. Uh, I didn't really take that much material off here. Uh, the inside you can take a little bit more off uh, towards the, the center divider here. But be careful not to take too much off uh, in the push rod pinch, pinch point because uh, you'll actually, it can very easily blow through. And uh, I have a feeling that these heads wouldn't weld up too nicely. Uh, and you just don't want to get involved with that if, you know what I mean, you're trying to not get into an expensive head if you have to send them out and get them welded if you don't have a TIG welder. It's just, it's kind of defeats the purpose of what we're trying to do here. So all I'm really doing is just gasket matching to a 1206 and then just blending it in a little bit and then smoothing it out. But let's take a look at the final product with our other head here that I finished. Uh, let's take a look. The last part I, I did here is I did just a little, very minimal chamber work, but I did uh, open it up just a little bit right here and then blend it down. Uh, I took, I scribed to the gasket line. And I brought it semi close to the gasket line here and then just, and then just like I said, blend it in. But I didn't want to do too much chamber work. I did not touch the exhaust side, just the intake side. Uh, and clean that and clean that up again be careful if you're doing chamber work that you don't nick your seats um, and uh, just just do a little bit I didn't want to do too much because again uh, for this application I'm trying not to lose too much compression and open up the chamber uh, too much so I just wanted to help a little bit with the flow and get it around the valve so I just you can you can almost see it's called it's called the power dent right there, so that's what that is, and then just blend it in. So now let's, with a 1206 gasket, a little bit of chamber work, our previous uh, valve job and port cleanup, let's take a look at our final results for these heads.
So there you go guys, that's where we're at with our heads for our uh, 355 Help Me Build It series. We're going with the air gap intake. Um, it's, it's nice when you can do modifications to a head yourself, you know, other than the valve job. And everything I showed you was a step in the right direction. So what I mean by that is everything we did increase flow in every area and didn't lose flow. Sometimes going to a larger valve, uh, you'll lose you know, flow at the lower end without porting and it's just, you, it's a kind of a balancing act. Um, you, these heads are probably capable of, I would think 300 CFM if you went to a bigger intake valve and stuff, but I don't think, and plus with porting, a big intake valve plus porting, but I don't think with what we're doing in our, you know, just the 355, that we're gonna really benefit from that. And um, I think where we're at, you know, those flow numbers, uh, I think we're these are we're gonna actually have a pretty nice combination. I'm excited to see what it turns out turns out like with that cam, that Summit Racing cam that we're going with. Uh, I think we're gonna have a pretty sweet little engine. So uh, that's where we're at. I'm gonna keep picking away. I'm still trying to play catch up with some of these engines uh, builds that I have on the go. Um, so I apologize if you guys are waiting for this. Um, I'm just, I'm, this time of year, it seems like I, I can never work enough and get caught up on things. So that's, that's why uh, the videos are a little lacking lately and I apologize for that. Um, but that's where we're at. I'm going to keep picking away. I'm going to try to get some more stuff done tomorrow night as well. And, uh, and we can keep rolling on this. So uh, if you don't, if you haven't subscribed, please do and hit the like button. Thanks guys.